are three chickens right now. We started out with seven this year and um, we lost a couple to predators and lost a couple to sickness. Um, this is our first year raising chickens and we definitely learned a lot so um, now that we've got uh, better protection and understanding of how to raise them the right way we're going to add um, quite a few in the spring I think. Um, but uh, they're, they're beautiful birds. We'd like a mixed flock just to um, watch them. So we have a, a bantam there and um, then we have a Colombian Wyandotte as the white one in the back and um, a golden lace um, here in the front. Um, she's kind of the ring leader, this golden lace. And um, she uh, likes to follow me around whenever we're outside of the coop and um, she leads the way for the other two chickens. Um, they tend to follow her around wherever she goes. Let's get started with the tour. Uh, this chicken coop is roughly five foot by six foot. Um, I built this myself. I started out um, building it in the garage. Up, um, I built the platform and the walls in the garage so that I had a, a flat, dry place to be working. Um, and I built that up to the where the rafters um, attach. And then I moved the whole frame out here and finished the rest of it out here. Um, I purchased the plans on Etsy. Um, I'll try to leave a link in the description below for you. Uh, I think I paid $15 for the plans. Um, I just looked them up today and they're running about $17 today. Um, but really those plans were, were worth every penny. Um, it provides um, so much clarity on the process and, and it'll provide you a materials list and a cut list. Um, so there's really no guesswork involved. Um, the plans are 33 pages long and they cover every detail of what you need to do um, for this chicken coop. Um, one, one or two people could easily build the coop. Um, I, I built the majority of it on my own and uh, my dad did help me for a, a day or so out here putting the siding and the rafters and the, and the metal on. Um, uh, two, two people for the siding is especially helpful, just somebody to hold while you nail it on. Um, so let's walk around and give you a tour. Okay, so we're inside the chicken coop here. Um, I am currently using like a deep litter method, so um, 
the bedding and litter in here is pretty deep, but we're heading into winter, so that will really help provide some insulation in the floor since this is raised up on a platform and sitting on legs. Um, this, this will really provide some good insulation um, factor for the chickens. Um, but that being said, chickens are very hardy animals. They really just need protection from the wind, uh, plenty of ventilation, um, and a nice dry place to sleep. Um, this, you can see I have no insulation in the walls and uh, the plan really didn't call for it, though it says you can add it if you want. Uh, on the back side of the chicken coop, uh, I do have two vents added. Those vents are screened to help keep um, predators out. And I've just added some extra support above and below so that the predators can't just push those um, vents right through or pull them right off. Um, really the main deviations from the plan for me were just adding extra protection and um, extra support and security uh, for the chickens just to keep predators out. Uh, one of the major deviations I also made was the plans originally call for these roosting poles uh, to be all at the same height just to nail them along the um, the wall here at, at this height and um, I chose to go ahead and add them at three different heights because chickens do have a pecking order um, and the way they know who's most important is um, the most important ones sit on the, the top roost usually um, and so to keep them from fighting each other all being on the same level just go ahead and um, in my opinion you want to have them at different heights so these are at three different heights uh, the lowest and this one's slightly higher in the middle and then one much higher up there in the back and so it didn't take much for me to to um, just add some support to make those a little higher you can see I used um, small playhouse windows and the uh, windows are from the outside covered with hardware cloth again to keep predators out mainly raccoons um, but we do have foxes around here too there are five nesting boxes in the plans but as I read online and everyone seemed to be correct is they really will all fight over one box or all use one box and they really like this um, one right here in the corner for whatever reason um, I think uh, the eggs are almost always in that box The plans call for two by three walls. Um, I built this mostly out of reclaimed materials. And um, we had ripped off an old porch off the front of our house when we were remodeling the exterior. And I took those two by sixes from the porch decking and um, supports and uh, framing. And I ripped that down um, to make all my studs and rafters. One other deviation from the plans I forgot to mention while we were in inside the coop here um, was that I added linoleum. This is just as I was doing some research, um, a lot of folks said it's a good idea to put some kind of barrier down because the um, chicken's poop is so acidic it will actually eat away at the um, wood flooring. So um, I have a good half inch or five eighths inch plywood down but um, that linoleum and the deep bedding just help to provide extra um, protection for the wood to help it last longer. So um, again, that was just some scrap material that came from um, somebody's remodel project that I just stapled down and then threw um, my pine shavings and wood chips on top of there. So here on the exterior of the house, um, one of my deviations I told you was just um, adding extra security and protection so I added a rather than doing one lock in the middle like the plans originally showed um, I added a lock at the top and a lock at the bottom and there's no way a raccoon is going to get that open I mean they might get one lock open especially if it's down low and easy for them to reach but they're not going to open two and I just use this carabiner here to 
um, help make sure they're not going to just pull easily pull up this latch. Um, so the doors, the doors are all um, part of the the plans. Um, they're included in um, the plans on how to make those and and your sizing and and all that. All the 1x4 material that you see for the fascia and the trim was all left over from interior remodeling projects that we had done on the house. So again, the, the main things I purchased were hardware and the exterior siding. So here on the front of the house you can see the uh, metal roofing. It really wouldn't take much in terms of metal roofing. Um, if you were going to purchase um, maybe just a sheet or two at a local hardware store. Um, I did also purchase the windows, of course. I got those on Amazon. Um, they're pretty nice windows. They do slide up and down, so I do move those up and down depending on the temperature. In the summertime, I leave those wide open. In the wintertime, I close them down a little bit just to help hold some heat in. But chickens do need a lot of ventilation, um, so you want to make sure you don't co close your coop down completely. Uh, the plans do not um, call for a um, exterior run, so you'll have to come up with something on your own. Um, and if I'm to be honest, the one thing I would do differently, um, if I had it to do all over again, would be to rethink this run. Um, I would say I would probably make it bigger, uh, first of all. And then second of all, I didn't think through closing in the top. So you can see right now I temporarily have this plastic snow fencing um, on the top um, and that's mainly for two reasons one to keep the chickens in they started to fly out once we allowed them to start free ranging they really prefer to be out um, so when I want them in I want them to stay in and then the second thing it is is to keep predators out mainly hawks in the daytime um, we don't have too many problems with raccoons or foxes during the day um, but we do have problems with hawks and that netting will help keep the hawks out for sure, but right now it's very low for me to have to crawl in um, during the day and open up the door. Here you can kind of see the um, exterior uh, vents. That is facing westward, where, which is our um, predominant um, you know, wind direction for most of the year. Um, so that ventilation allows a crosswind to go through and blow wind through the coop and out the windows to provide good ventilation. Uh, but I didn't want my windows facing that direction um, because I want to use those to um, control the, help control the temperature in the coop. So here's the exterior view of the nesting boxes. I just use pine shavings in mine. It doesn't seem to cause any issues. Um, like I said, there's five nesting boxes there, but they really only use one. Um, here's a close-up of the windows. Um, I framed in the hardware cloth just to provide some protection because in the summertime when in the springtime when those windows are open and the screens are the only thing between the chickens and a raccoon, that won't be enough to stop a raccoon. So just a couple things I want to stress. Um, chickens don't need anything fancy. Um, I built this because it looks good, it's solid, it's going to last a long time, um, but you really don't have to overthink it. Um, like I was saying earlier, if you can get the chickens out of the wind, keep them dry and safe and protected um, while they roost in the, in the evenings and at night, that's really all they need. Um, uh, having those um, roosting poles at different heights really does help. Um, it's going to provide them, especially if you have multiple chickens, if you've got upwards of five or ten plus chickens, um, that pecking order becomes important. Um, the, the only thing I really purchased for this particular coop um, was the um, exterior siding and the hardware like hinges, locks, screws, those types of things. Almost everything else on this chicken coop is built out of reclaimed or reused materials. So I, I used um, reclaimed porch boards and framing for um, the studs and rafters. I used some leftover plywood for um, the roof 
uh, underneath the metal, although that didn't really even need to be there. I just provided it for um, just some extra support to, to screw my metal to. And the metal was also given to me. It came off of a, um, a barn teardown um, that somebody, a neighbor of my dad's had and was given um, to my dad and, and my dad gave to me to use. So um, I'm sure a lot of you have materials laying around that could be put to use. So before you just run out and buy what you need off the materials list, I would recommend looking around to see what you have. So the original plans called for a shingle roof, but the metal was available and free to me, so I chose to use that. Um, so I did deviate from the plan slightly in, in some of those aspects. So what was kind of funny about this coop was I was watching um, the series where Wrangler Star was building his um, chicken coop early on during the pandemic also. and. I kind of liked the plans but wasn't sure what it was I was going to build yet. I had been watching a lot of videos on YouTube to figure out what I wanted to build and um, he didn't really mention the fact that he had um, where he had purchased the plans and as I was doing my research online I found the same plans um, on Etsy so I'll share that with you in the description. Um, feel free to check those out if you want. Like I said I, I personally think they're worth every penny as somebody who's not a builder I'm just a homeowner that wanted to do it myself. Um, I, I think those plans are are worth um, what, what he's asking for them easily and then some. You're going to save a lot of time, frustration, um, headaches just trying to figure out what materials you need and the spacing and the sizing and the cuts. Um, all that information's in those plans and really is going to make it a lot easier on you. Um, if you don't use those plans, fine. Um, obviously do whatever you want, but I would suggest drawing something up um, and, and sketching out um, what it is you want before you get started. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the coop. I think that's about all we have time for today. Uh, if you have any questions about the coop, uh, leave those in the comments down below. Um, be sure to check out our other videos. Um, hit the thumbs up on this uh, video if you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you go up and hit that subscribe button too. Thanks.